Good morning, everybody. This is Susie B. Homemaker coming to you with the inspirational breakfast. Today's topic is, it's best to be aware. Okay, so yes, we all have an enemy. And this enemy is sneaky. This enemy has to do deceptive things in order to persuade you or to take you and lead you far away from what your path is. This enemy is not going to roll up on you and just be like, hey, coming out of this mouth, let me mess up your life. Let me, you know, just make your life a living hell. Just want you to let me do it. Are you willing to do it? And you're not going to say no yes to that. You're going to say no. So the enemy has to be deceptive and the way that he does things, when the way that they do things, they have to catch you when you're drinking. They have to catch you when you're down and out, when you're when you're not feeling so good, when something terrible has happened to you in your life. It may be terrible to you, but it may just be a closed door that God is closing so he can open up a bigger one. And the enemy wants to get on you right at that moment. The enemy wants to bother you, make you depressed talk to you. You have to understand who you're talking to. If it does not sound like God, if it's not uplifting, if it's not, wait my child on me, I've got you. If it's not none of that, if it's all oh, this bad stuff, this negativity stuff that keeps your mind in that steady focus to keep you depressed and to keep you out of your calling, then it's not right. You know that's not from God. Listen to the uplifted. It's best to be aware. It's best not to indulge too much in activities that's going to keep your mind not focused on who you need to be focusing on. God and you, your goal, your children, your legacy, your life. It's best to be aware. God loves you, and I love you too. Peace. Have a blessed day, y'all.